Center Project is a Chicago-based nonprofit on a mission to build inclusive classrooms. And joining us now with details on their upcoming gala and a way you can help is Educator of the Year, Jennifer Era. Thank you for coming in. I'm thrilled to be here. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. I always honor, and my hat's off to educators because it is a tough job. Mm -hmm. And then you add into the fact that some kids are dealing with a disability and they need that much more attention. So tell us how the NORA project helps teachers to be able to achieve that goal. Well, um, we are on a mission to help educators understand that disability, first and foremost, is a natural and expected form of human diversity. Mm -hmm. One in four humans worldwide are impacted by a disability. It is our desire and mission to help build respect and help people understand that by understanding disability, both in its hidden and visible forms, that we can thereby build a more supportive and inclusive community worldwide. It, we have to be able to understand and build supportive systems in our world to help. Now, how did you get involved? Because mm -hmm. teaching wasn't even your first career. You got it into wasn't. teaching <laughs> a, a second chapter yeah. and then got into this aspect of it. How did you get involved? Uh, well, I'd learned about the Nora Project through a colleague mm -hmm. at the Joseph Sears School. And I understood immediately the significance of the mission of the program. Um, I have a lived family experience of, with disability in my family. And knowing what my family had been through uh, with uh, uh, disability and the importance of bringing awareness to the need mm -hmm. uh, of those with disabilities being seen, mm -hmm. understanding the supports that need to be there for folks with disability, understanding what people with disability, all of us really need to thrive. Mm -hmm. Are we talking physical, mental, emotional, all of all. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. It's so important to understand that disability exists both in, in terms of visible and invisible, mm -hmm. especially coming out of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What we're seeing um, in classrooms right now as a result of the pandemic, such an increase in terms of hidden disability in the form of anxiety um, mm, yeah. in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing through the Nora Project, not only in terms of bringing awareness to the original mission of the program, but because it's such an all-encompassing social and emotional well-being program, mm -hmm. we're seeing um, uh, impact across the spectrum in terms of helping students understand that by building empathy and understanding one another's stories, mm -hmm. we're impacting students both with disability that we expected to right. impact, but now as a result of the pandemic, helping students understand that if we share one another's stories, we're building supports it's across the board. Normalizing it for kids who Absolutely. may not understand it. Yeah. So then as they approach these things as they get older, mm -hmm. they don't have to have a sense of you're different. Everyone's the same because right. they grew up learning that. There's no such thing as normal is really what right. Right. is really yeah, the true. message that, yeah. we're, that we're sharing. Because mm -hmm. we're getting into a situation where we're transitioning from those traditional classrooms where everybody sat in rows, sat in chairs behind desks and just answered questions straight to the teacher. Yeah. I mean, because that didn't that work for people. So when you're in the Nora Project, are you looking at rearranging classrooms are you looking at how you teach curriculums I mean what absolutely. exactly are you doing absolutely I mean we are through the Nora project and we are we have to understand that we're breaking down everything that we used to think of what a traditional classroom looked like mm -hmm. we are understanding that students need all different kinds of supports mm -hmm. in order to learn best we understand that there's some students that need to get up and move around. We're understanding that there's students that need um, wobble stools, for instance. You know, we're understanding that we need to build inclusive classrooms that allow disabled students to move in the way that they yeah. need to move and thrive. Yeah. Right? That's fantastic work. Uh, we want to mention before we're out of time, but the gala is coming up uh, on the 11th where you will get your award for Educator of the Year. Yes. Thank you so much. Thursday, May 11th um, from 6 to 9 at the Palm House in Evanston. Make sure to check out the website, the Nora Project Chicago. 
uh, the NorProject.org. And can people get tickets for the gala still? So unfortunately, we have sold out of in-person tickets, okay. but I encourage everybody to go onto our website. You can still get virtual tickets. You can still oh. learn about the important work that we're doing through awesome. the NORA Project. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.